Hello, everyone. This is your host, Michelle, and you're listening to The Mindful Podcast, the show that aims to break the stigma associated with mental health. Today, we will be talking about first responders, post-traumatic stress, and ways to cope with it with Billy Sinkay, Sergeant in Recovery. I know you are currently doing a documentary or you did a documentary. I was a part of I was a part of what I believe is going to be an amazing film and I uh, was invited to participate in a documentary called Residual. And what it is is uh, Doug Haynes who is the director producer of the film um, wants to make a film about cumulative first responder trauma. So not just the you know the one traumatic incident that creates all these problems and traumatic stress which we will not downplay that, yeah. but that's less common than the cumulative. They're estimating 30% of first responders are dealing with cumulative trauma. When you are repeatedly exposed to traumatic incidents and stress constantly, you, you know, you're filling up your, your backpack with yeah. five pound rocks every time you're, you know, you, you go on a traumatic call. So, um, the film focuses on not just police officers, but other, all first responders and, and some of the tra trauma they dealt with on the job and how it affected them. And not only that, but how they've gotten through it and gotten better, you know, as a result of finding tools to work with it. So, um, I know Doug, Doug is an amazing guy. Mm -hmm. He has a beautiful vision. There's, there's stuff out there. Residualfilm.com, uh, is, is where you can see there's some preview videos out there. You get to take a look at my <laughs> ugly face out there with my shiny head. And, uh, <clears throat> But, I want to uh, see it. I want to see it. I think it's great that everybody is talking more mental health, yes. trauma, for sure. first responders, just everything. I love yeah. it. I love what everybody's putting well, out there. You know, you're going to find that it's it's a it's a tragedy when an officer, a firefighter, even veteran, you know, has to be discharged from duty because they suffer from some type of mental illness or even, you know, alcohol or substance abuse that leads to, you know, or, yeah. or, or is self-medicating the problem. Um, it's hard to replace somebody who's got 10 years. On, like I have 13 years on the job. You're going to replace somebody who's got 13 years of experience, 13 years of training, 13 years of intelligence from the street with somebody who who's new. Not that they don't deserve a chance, but let me leave the job yeah. this time. Every time I tell the story, I relive it. Uh, every time I relive it just a little bit. But then one of those tools I use is the shift, right? You just shift. Okay, you know why you're doing this. Mm -hmm. You're not doing, I, I don't do anything for dog and pony show. Believe me, if I had it my way, I'd be in a cabin in the woods somewhere fishing. Man, I don't need yeah. attention. It's not about attention. I don't care about it. The only reason I want attention is to bring attention to the resources. The awareness. To, exactly. Yeah. To help my brothers and sisters in the first responder world and civilians alike, man, I want everyone to detach from the stigmas of getting help because there's resources out there and technology and, and, and intelligence of the treatment options, modalities, all of that is, is getting better. Yes. And they're discovering more and more with their, with their, um, with their research on how to combat and treat these issues. So, uh, it's not 1985 NYPD blue Dennis Franz type stuff where, you know, where you can't go get help, toughen up buttercup and all that other yeah. stuff. Like now, especially in this day and age, people are starting to understand mental health is a big deal in the first it's important. world. It's really important. And people are definitely more warming and welcome to people getting treatment, you know. And talking about it. People yes. don't knock you if you get help. Now you're kind of celebrated for it. You know, yeah. you're, you're you're deemed courageous just for reaching out for help. Yeah. So and that's a, due to the younger people no, too. No doubt about it. Because yeah. now they're the ones coming out and talking about it and talking about meditation and holistic ways and then the medicines and, and all these different subjects. So... You know, I think in a couple of years, it's only going to get better. It is. And people are going to start to understand that mental health is health. Right. In general, the same way you go to a doctor, you go to a therapist. Right. Well, you got a lot of old school um, veterans that are in leadership positions. Mm. And so they are of the old world mentality where they just don't want to talk about it. They don't, they know what exists. They don't want to address they probably, it. They've yeah. been through it themselves. They know but they don't want to draw any attention to it, you know, because it's, they don't want to be, they don't want anyone to be seen as a liability for their department. Um, it's not that they're, that they're cold hearted, don't care. They're just not used to dealing with it 20 years ago, 30 years ago. Nobody, nobody talked about this stuff. Yeah. Nobody. So, well, I'm glad we are now. Yes. And I'm glad personally, me and you are talking about it Absolutely. and did talk about it. Very, very cool. <laughs> I yeah. want to say thank you. You're thank welcome. you for coming. Thank you for sharing your story.
Thank you. I only wish you but the best. I and truly do appreciate it. I can't wait to see your documentary. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's not all about me. Just, just there's no, all the people. Okay, in it. sorry. No, the documentary. It's, 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 the, the people that are all involved in it. Um, a couple of them I know personally, um, but I've got a chance to watch them. Man, I'll tell you what. Um, it's some of it is heart wrenching to see some of the pain that people are in. But I applaud everybody. And Doug, Doug's doing a fantastic job. Doug wants to get this out because he wants people to be able to use it as a training tool to, yeah. to, to bring awareness to the problem. Because I love it. Not a lot of people know it. You mm -mm. Know? Not a lot of people are aware of what, what first responders go through. Yeah. You know? Education and, is key. Yeah. And uh, educate people to, to our military and our emergency personnel and hospitals, our police, our firefighters, my brothers and sisters everywhere. I love every single one of you. I'm not going to stop fighting uh to, to to provide the information and to and to give you the inspiration to go and get the help so that you do not end up losing your career or even god forbid your life um get help it's never worth it you get one life thank you you're welcome <laughs>